Following the Chancellor's autumn statement, we here at Lambeth have a number of concerns to highlight with the government. After 13 years of austerity, local government is at financial breaking point. Councils collectively across London are heading for a £600 million overspend by next April, needing to find £500 million of savings the following financial year while still delivering core services. According to the Institute for Fiscal Services, Lambeth gets £49 million less each year from government to meet the needs of residents. The government has taken a step to address these concerns by unfreezing the housing allowance for rents, a welcome necessity. But overall, this autumn statement has done not nearly enough to meet the challenges facing Lambeth residents. Tax reforms are too little, too late, and they go no way to supporting vital services that are chronically underfunded. We will wait for the details on progressing faster planning applications, but this too does not deal with the central issue of a lack of housing stock. Here in Lambeth we needed a fundamental change to planning law, not tinkering with the rules to allow local authorities to build the housing desperately needed by the 40,000 people on our waiting list. There was nothing from the Chancellor on the local government settlement, so Lambeth is still looking at a £38 million funding gap over the next four years. This is reflected across all London councils. Without addressing all these concerns, the Chancellor and Government will be failing people in Lambeth and preventing the Council from helping alleviate the problems facing so many.